brother. Then they always say be prepared. But can you be over prepared? Is there such a thing? I mean, how could continuing to predict potential outcomes work against you? Doesn't really sound like it makes much sense, but at the same time, I've also found that whenever I think I know exactly how the future is going to play out is also when I find myself the most caught off guard. We'll discuss those issues and more on today's episode of Super Carlin Brothers. Are we gonna roll the intro? Should I just start? Okay, I'm just gonna start. <gasps> Oh, but it's been a long day. See, yesterday I actually took off of work so I could drive home from Raleigh where Beth finished her second ever half marathon, the inaugural Raleigh Rock and Roll half marathon where she PR'd by 10 minutes. No big deal. And on the way home, I got this lovely email from work asking if I could come in and do early morning PR the next day, which is today. <laughs> I don't mind coming in at 4.30 in the morning after my day off. It's no big deal. I mean, it's really not, but it did mean I had to go to bed early, and knowing that I was gonna have to go into work early and then catch up on everything from yesterday and then work an event tonight, I wanted to get every minute of sleep possible, so I decided I was going to try and be as prepared as possible. I packed my lunch, I got the coffee maker ready to go, I packed my gym bag, I laid out my outfit, I picked out a second outfit in case the event I had to work called for fancier dress, and I took everything out to the car the night ahead of time, except for my lunch, which had to be refrigerated. All I had to do when I got up was shower, get dressed, pour coffee, grab lunch, and go. Foolproof! Ah, but not Jonathan proof. Everything was going according to plan. I took a shower, I did my hair. Great hair day, by the way. I got dressed, and then I encountered a vast problem. I didn't have a travel mug for my coffee. I panicked! Now, this should not have been a surprise because I am, like, famous for leaving coffee mugs at work, but I normally have at least one emergency cup left somewhere on the floor of my car, except... My car has been in the shop for like 11 days! What is taking them so long? My only hope was that I could rely on my own forgetfulness and find a mug in your truck, which you have graciously been letting me drive for the last week, brother. Thanks so much! I grabbed the truck keys, headed out into the pouring rain, and... SUCCESS! Just like I didn't plan it. A forgotten coffee mug! I should really be able to rely on this by now. I mean, almost anywhere I've sat for more than 10 minutes has got an abandoned coffee mug somewhere near it. And so the morning seemed saved, except that it wasn't. I was so thrown off by this single minor complication, so determined to get back on the well-laid path I'd laid out for myself that all I did was go back inside, pour my coffee, and then immediately leave. It wasn't until five minutes into my drive to work that I realized my first mistake had led to the next. When I picked up your truck keys, Ben, I checked off keys in my head, but failed to realize that this wasn't my typical set of keys. You know, the keys I need to, like, open the doors at work. Exactly why I'm awake at 4.30 in the morning to unlock the doors. And so I had to turn around and I was officially running late. And of course there's nothing worse than running late for something super early. No, yeah, that made sense. And to top it all off, I forgot my lunch. Twice, both times I left the house. So oh, that's how I started this half marathon of a day. You see what I did there? But as the day went on, I realized that any of my problems that morning weren't really problems at all. It's just that I thought I was so well prepared that throwing even a single grain of sand in the gears totally threw me off my game and then it just snowballed. Because when you over prepare for something, you go on autopilot and you stop being able to predict problems because you aren't looking for them anymore. You think you've solved them all ahead of time. But my question for you and everybody else is, have you ever over prepared for something or just psyched yourself out? Or can you over prepare for something? Is that a thing? Or am I just being a dramatic, sleep deprived, crazy person right now? Let me know down in the towel section below. And also thank you to the four warriors and Aiden Cordon for their awesome pig wall drawings. If anyone else would like to submit a pig wall, grizzly, eagle, shark, or giraffe land, you can submit it to us on Facebook or really any social media network at all. If you find a way to put it in front of me, I will feature it on this channel. Also, don't forget that Ben and I's fundraising campaign for Big Brothers Big Sisters is still happening until the end of May, where your donations could send us over the edge of a 13-story building. No donation is too small. We have lots of cool rewards for donations, including stickers, posters, t-shirts, and some cool interactive stuff with Ben and I. There is a link to make a donation down in the description box. That's all for me, Ben, but I will see you in another life, brother.